Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome if you are new here. I know I have a lot of new subscribers recently, which just makes me so excited. And if you are watching and you are not subscribed, I would love if you joined our little group here. I try to post two to three times a week, all puzzle content. And today's video I think will be pretty fun and it's very spontaneous on my end. I am going to be going over all the Black Friday deals that I've seen and see which ones I'm curious about, which ones I think are good deals, and just talk about the brands that I see that I have tried before and this is just to be helpful if you are in the market for some puzzles you want to find a good deal maybe these are some brands that you have been considering and now's the time that they're on sale but of course just do whatever is in your budget and I'm just doing this for fun and if you are international I'm sorry but uh I'm excited for this video. So we are going over a thread that is in my Facebook group. We've just been posting Black Friday deals as we've seen them. And I'm sure there's a lot of other brands that are gonna do Black Friday specials, but they may not have been posted yet. So we're just gonna go over the things that I have in that thread. And if you have other deals that you think we should know about, please let us know in the comments or join the Facebook group and let us know over there because it's pretty fun. Also, we have Oliver playing here. We have some yard work at the neighbors, the dryers going. Again, spontaneous video, but hopefully you still enjoy it. So let's just go into the thread and I'll put them up here so you guys can see. I'll try to link the brands down below in case you are interested in any of these. Um, some may need codes and such that you can see over on their pages. So let's just go into this. Okay, so the first post that we have here is for Enjoy Puzzles, which this is a sale that I am very curious about. I have done only one from this brand and I loved it. I'll leave the video that I did it down below so you guys can see it in person. I did one that was like a gradient swirl and the pieces were so matte and beautiful and bright and colorful. Like I had nothing negative to say about this brand. And it's been one that I've been following since then and have been wanting to purchase some, but haven't really bit the bullet. So, so this may be the ticket to get me into buying more from this brand because I am very excited about it. They also have a new collection that I'm very into. So this is a brand I'm definitely interested in because it's 50% off, which is a really good deal. And they're also doing free shipping if it's over $60 I think or euros their website's in euros so it's I think ends up being about $13 per puzzle with the 50% off discount so I might get a couple to get the free shipping because it is a brand that I'm very excited about uh, next we have is Art and Fable. They are doing a deal and they don't very often do deep discounts. So you might be able to get like a 15 or 20% off discount if you're like a new member to the website. But this time around, they are doing up to 35% off. So they have a tiered system. So it's 25% off just the cart. Um, if you're spending $75 or more, it's 30% off. But if you're spending $200, you are getting 35% off. So it ends up being about $130 for $200 worth of puzzles. Now, do you need that many Art and Fable puzzles? Probably not, um, but it is a really good discount. So if you're getting, if you're interested in the brand, you're planning on buying them already, maybe you're interested in your new collection, it might be one that you may be interested in. Now this brand I have done before, I have quite a few already in my collection that I haven't gotten around to yet. So I don't think I'm going to be purchasing anything this time around, but it is a good deal if you're wanting to experiment with the brand. The next sale that I have here is New York Puzzle Company, and I feel like the, the Black Friday deal is not very good, although this one says early Black Friday, so I don't know if it's going to be changing for actual Black Friday, but it's 10% off site-wide, and then there's a discount if you for their last chance puzzle, so those are like the discontinued puzzles that are 30% off. Now for me, I feel like 10% is just not a very deep discount for a Black Friday deal. I mean, if you lived in Seattle, that's not even the cost of the taxes that you're paying. I have seen other deals throughout the year that are way better than this one. So maybe it'll change for actual Black Friday, but I've seen um, New York Puzzle Company deals that are at least 25% off. So I feel like 10% isn't, isn't the one I would go for, um, especially since some other sites are doing other deals that are just a lot steeper. So. I think you can wait on that one, but maybe if there's a last chance puzzle you're interested in, maybe, but again, I feel like they often do like 50% off sales throughout the year. So I think that's one you can pass on. 
Next we have this one, which is Blue Kazoo, which I have one of from their old collection. I haven't tried any of their new line, which is like all new sustainable stuff. So Blue Kazoo is doing a discount of 25 to 55% off their select jigsaw puzzles. I'm curious to see which ones are which discount, but I haven't done the, the first one that I got from them. So I don't know if it's one that I'm going to be reaching out for. Let me just look on their website to see Okay, some of their new stuff is actually a good deal at $20, but I don't know. It might be one that I am curious about. Let me know if you're interested in seeing like a Blue Kazoo review. That would probably get me on the fence of which ones to buy. Um, so this one, there are some good images that are 50% off or close to it. Like there are some good deals with some of their newer sustainable line, but they're still like $25 a piece. So. I don't know. I think it would depend if you're interested in seeing the new Blue Kazoo line as a review. So let me know on that. Um, but there are some good deals there. And if you're wanting a sustainable puzzle brand, they have their new whole system, which is which is a good idea. But I just don't know if that's a brand that I'm going to be like spending all my money on. Next, we have Piecework, where they are doing 30% off every single puzzle. I feel like I've seen this ad so many times on my Instagram and in my email. This is a good deal, and it is a brand that I am, again, curious about, but only wanting to buy, like, one of or two of. I have done Piecework in the past, but it was before they did their new manufacturer. I had their old manufacturer, which had, like, a very inconsistent quality, and I've heard since they've changed it, they have no more issues that they had before. So it is a brand that I'm wanting to like try again but I don't know if I need to buy like a ton of like I really just want to buy one you know um, so I think it would depend on how the pricing works with shipping if I am going to bite the bullet on that one so I don't know again another brand that I'm like uh, maybe if I find one that I really like and it's a good deal um, and again I'm curious to see how the new quality is compared to the old quality Next we have Bits and Pieces. They are having a big sale. They had just like a bunch of puzzles over in their sale section. And they have some, some cute images and it is a brand that I am definitely like eyeing. I have done a few of their puzzles this year and it's a brand that I feel like I've neglected for a really long time just because they're for me and just a more like classic style of image. But they do have some newer stuff which is definitely up my alley. They have some cute Christmas puzzles that are on sale for like $11 versus $16. So they have some good deals, but again, it's a brand that I may only want to buy like one or two of. So I don't know if I'd buy directly from them. I prefer buying my puzzles from sometimes from the brand if I know I'm going to buy a lot to get like a shipping deal or something like villager puzzles where I was like buying directly from them but I often like to buy from places that you can just like buy like one of a few different brands so that way I can like get it all together in one group so I don't know if it's something that I'll be going into but if you are a bits and pieces fan they have a lot of stuff on sale like they have a lot <laughs> they have like pages and pages worth of sale items so something to consider Let's see. Next we have Wentworth. They are doing a deal free shipping. I think they also have a 25% off sale going on, which is very rare for Wentworth to have sales. Sometimes if you join their email list, you can maybe find like one or two puzzles that are 50% off each month. So that's a way to do it if you want to just like buy it in order puzzles to experience it without like breaking the bank. For me, for Wentworth, I would say if you're wanting what's in their newer stuff, this may be a good option to get like a little bit of a discount off, but I feel like also you can go to their sales section and get a better deal. So that's my thoughts on their stuff, but I'm curious to see if, again, if some of these brands change their sale for actual Black Friday. All right, so next we have this one, which is called Geek Toys World. Someone posted it, so let me see what that means. So they're doing a 25% off, oh, up to 35% off Black Friday sale, which I haven't bought from this brand at all or from this page so let me just see what they have they have more wooden puzzles and i haven't tried them their pricing is a broad range um so 25 percent off is a, is a good deal if you're again into a wooden puzzle they have just a small selection on their black friday sales from what i can tell but I don't know. I'll definitely link it down below if this is a, a site that you shop from. Um, next we have, let's see, oh, Target is having a puzzle sale for some Buffalo games and Seco puzzles in general. If you also go on the Buffalo games website, they are having a 
huge sale. Um, some things as low as $5. A lot of things are around like 6 to $8. So I think that's an awesome deal if you find an image that you like. Or for me, I always feel like there's a few Buffalo Game Puzzles images that are always on my wish list. So it might be something to consider if you're wanting to buy a new Buffalo Games or that's your preferred brand. They have some really good deals going on. Target, apparently, some of them are 50% off. I also saw a ton on Amazon that were on sale too. So it is a good time to stock up if you are a Buffalo Games fan. Let's see, next we have a Cloudberry sale where it's 30% off all of their puzzles. I feel like this is a brand that is very hit or miss with me. I've had really great experiences and then I had not so great experiences. And I feel like that's across the board. They have a few different manufacturers and I think it depends on which ones you get. So 30% off is a good deal if you are interested in trying the brand but don't want to spend, spend full price. Might be a good option. And uh, I, they have some really cute images, but again, I feel like consistency is not where their strong suit is. Uh, next we have is an Evo sale. So they also have like a tiered thing, 20% off all orders. If you spend 50, it's 25% off. If you spend 75, it's 30% off. And then it looks like if you spend $100, you save 30% off, plus you get a free card set. So if you are an Ibu fan, it might be a great time to stock up. It's a brand like Bits and Pieces where I'm considering buying more, but I wouldn't buy full price. So 30% off is actually a really good deal for them. And maybe, I think it is, it is a good deal if you are an Ibu fan. Uh, next we have is a small puzzle brand called New England Puzzle Works. They never do sales because they are a very, very small company. And so they're doing a deal where it's 25% off all of their puzzles for Black Friday. This is something I may consider. It's a brand that I am interested in trying because I love their images. I grew up in New England, so all the images definitely resonate with me. And it's a brand I'm just like wanting to try. They are very small. And again, they very seldom do a sale. So I think I might get like one of. So I think that's what I'm going to do for that one. Next we have is Elena Essex. They have an early Black Friday deal right now for 20% off. I'm not sure if they're gonna do anything steeper um, for actual Black Friday, but 20% off is still a, a decent discount if that is something that you are wanting to try out. I have done three Elena Essex puzzles and I've, I've loved them. They're definitely one of my favorite brands. So I really enjoy like pretty much all of their images. And I feel like sometimes throughout the year you also see deals. So, so this is a brand that I don't think you necessarily need to purchase for Black Friday, but if they're something on a wish list, it might be a good option, but again, they often have deals throughout the year. If we're just like a little bit off, maybe it's like one or two puzzles, but you can sometimes get them on sale. Uh, next we have is Micro Puzzles. They are doing a deal where it's, it's very different because it's based off time of when you're purchasing them. So what the hell? So they're doing this deal, which might be really hard to do. Um, for one, the first tier is only a three minute window. So you get 50% off with code TURKEY50 on Thursday night, and then 40% off from 9.03 to 9.15 Eastern, and then 30% off for 9.15 to 10 p.m. So I feel like the three minute mark might be impossible for you to do, but if it's something, if it's a brand you're wanting to try, uh, so definitely try it for 9 p.m. But I also, sometimes when you do it a time thing, it, you're, the, the site might crash. So uh, we'll see how well that goes. But I feel like a three minute window, that's, that's, a, that's a hard one. Um, so you might only get 40 to 30% off depending if you are fast and speedy. Uh, next we have is, oh, I did post for Amazon. I'll link it also down below where I just have like all the Black Friday deals for puzzles all in one link. Um, so there are some really good deals for some brands and some brands are just like hit or miss, but I was able to find a Ravensburger puzzle for like 60% off. So there are some really good specials. Just have to do a little bit of weeding through. I, again, did get a Ravensburger. There were some Buffalo Games. There was a, some Antelope that I think they were like 25% off. So I also like that Amazon will tell you the percentage of how much of that deal is already taken. So I think for the one I got for Ravensburger, it was like 60% of the deal was already taken and spoken for. So. 
Um, I definitely think keep looking at them because I think they have been adding more and more. And then finally we have a Puzzle Warehouse sale. I think last year they did like a 15 or 20% off discount on top of their sale items. And they have like over 1800 puzzles currently that are 35% off. So there are some really good deals. And I like again how it's just a store that has like a ton of different brands. And if there are some images that you like, it's definitely a good option. So it is something to consider if you're wanting like a bunch of different deals, you don't want to go to a bunch of different places, you might be able to find a few different brands in one spot. So that's it for today's video. I feel like it was long and short at the same time. There was a lot of breaks because there's been some yard work outside. So hopefully this turned out okay. I just wanted to do this to see which puzzle brands I'm curious about, which sales I am looking into. Definitely for me, I'm looking into Enjoy. I'll keep an eye out on Amazon. May consider doing a couple of those smaller brands that very seldom have a sale. I will continue looking for more sales and posting them over in the Facebook group. You'll see the thread, it's right pinned at the top. So if you are just wanting to go to one spot where all the deals are happening, you can go over there. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.